Uh, Eddie Payne's their coach. I've known for a long time. Close to 450 wins as a head coach. Uh, and that team's going to win a lot of games um, in their league. The, I would, you know, would suspect they're probably going to win their league. Uh, I mean, they had Maryland beat towards the last three minutes of the game. And uh, obviously, you know, they won at Georgia Tech. This is a good team. And, uh, and, they, and they are hard to guard because the way they, sp- they spread the floor. But I really felt we won the game. One, we did a good job guarding their three-point shooting. They, we, we held them to 27%. They came in the game averaging around 36%, 37% from three. And they did have a plus seven or plus six on the rebounds as stat-wise coming in uh, against their opponent. We were plus seven tonight, which is great. And, um, and then obviously offensively we shot the ball really well. I was proud of the way we followed our game plan, attacking the zone. Um, I thought Pookie was, Pookie was really, really good. Avery gave us, you know, saved us the first half. Uh, with those four threes, and really that one three went in and out. Should have been five for five, and and obviously Trey Sean with a double double was really good. Josh, you always call the the three the great equalizer, but sometimes it's fool's gold. How how good can this team be shooting threes? And in a game where you thought you pounded inside, you well, 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 Shaq, Shaq, Shaq did not play well at all, right. other than the fact of the way he guarded the ball screens. I thought he did a good job guarding the ball screens. He was not good offensively. And Austin was 6 of 10, but I felt he was, you know, him and Shaq combined with nine turnovers. I thought they were both tentative down there. Instead of stepping in to the defender, they were kind of drifting out, and they were waiting too long. They had a lot of times to have some one-on-one play. And, and so um, uh, now I thought, I, I thought they both did a good job guarding the ball screen. We made the adjustment with Austin. We're in that second half. Because he would, did a good job hedging hard, but we couldn't get sucked in from the weak side because they want to suck you in to kick you out for three. So the adjustment we made was, okay, after the first media timeout, is that don't stay that long, just a quick show with the hand and then get back, and that really helped us. Uh, but they were not real as good as they've been offensively. And maybe it was because of the third game in six days or, or whatever it may be. So we had to carry us. Those perimeter guys really had to carry us. Now, I thought the bigs did a good job. I mean, they were on the move, guarding the ball screen, Plus, having to come up and set in ball screens for us. That being said, um, when you're 11 of 21, you're going to make shots. I mean, we don't. We're not a team that's going to live and die by the three. That's just not us. But when you're making 11 for 21, what are you going to do? And we had and we shot good shots. They were good shots for the most part. So, you know, even though Shaq wasn't, he was not good offensively today. Uh, I thought he did a good job guarding ball screens. I thought Austin, you know, obviously did some things down there. He was six of ten and had four blocks. But I felt Shaq and Austin had a lot of turnovers because I thought they were they were loose with the ball a little bit and they were slower instead of making quick, quick moves and ducking in and attacking that defender. They were drifting out a couple times. Uh, Pookie, Pookie's game in his 34 minutes. How much? How much of that was was you saying, okay, here's my guy? And I mean, he had five turnovers, but you stuck with him. He, is that, is that he he well he, he but he can score the ball he's good and 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 he really had a great game and more the but the the most important play he had in the second half there was a loose ball a miss rebound and he went in there and got a hit and kept the thing alive that we ended up getting a bucket he made a winning 50 50 play that was big time play by Pookie Powell where beforehand he had no desire to ever make a 50 50 play that showed progression and progress to me but uh, I thought he was. Um, you know, I thought he was good. I mean, he hit big shots. Jason hit really big shots. He had eight assists. Uh, I thought he was really effective. Yeah, he seems to be showing progression as a yeah. setup. Yeah, yeah. He's he's doing both. He's doing well in both areas. He solidified himself as a starting point guard for you guys. I mean, it's two games in a row where he's really turned it on. I don't know why I would change something when we just won two in a row, Grant. You know, so I yeah, either. yeah, just yeah. Well, that's. I mean, I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't mean to be. I'm not trying to be. You know. Uh, snarky but I, I'm just there's just I wouldn't change yeah I, and, and let me say this Grant to add, to expand on that I'm not I, I just think because people are, we're going to be a game by game team the rotation could change things could change and um, you know the, 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 the who the seven or eight are could change game by game but I do think the adjustment and you and Grant and Jason you guys are with us in Canada and you both know this I mean I think the second game we were in Canada when Pookie had that great game, and it was, I think tonight was reminiscent of that. Remember the team in was it Ottawa we played? Remember, and he had a, those threes behind the behind the ball screen. 
Remember, it was the second game. You know what I'm talking about? And I felt it was the same. T- he played that way today when guys, you know, made some big shots. Because remember, we got behind in those in that game there, and he really made some big plays. And so I felt he was reminiscent of that today. But I do think our seven or eight is going to change. It could be a game-by-game game thing as in terms of who's in the rotation. And uh, you, t- you talked about Treshawn not being a, a glass guy when he first got Correct. here. Correct. But now he's in my- two games in a row, he's got 21 total rebounds. How how did you get him to do that? I guess. I mean, how is it? And, that and Grant, you've seen in practice, he was an awful defender. Grant, he was so bad defensively, and he would not, and he would fight going to the glass. To his credit, he's now improved so much defensively. He still has a long way to go there, but he's improved so much defensively, and he's becoming a most of the time rebounder. He's not an every time rebounder yet. When he first got here, it was once in a time, about every. 15 trips he would go in now he's going at a more higher rate and he's a good rebounder he's got that kind of herky-jerky game like will barton had when he was when he was here so i mean i'm not saying he's will barton's in the nba you know a pro i'm not i'm not making that i'm just saying their games are similar but let me just make this clear we're still a work in progress there's going to be highs and lows with this team and i do believe and i'm i we're getting better but I'm really hoping and praying that the you know, the lows are gone. But it's just we're still a work in progress. Uh, Josh, two points. One, the free throw shooting was good tonight. You mentioned you may not be a three-point shooting team on it, but how important is it for that free throw percentage to be in the neighborhood of where it was tonight, number one? And number two, how big was this just from a sheer confidence? Well, I thought us making the free throws 14 of 18 was good for us. I mean, that's 78%, which was, you know, we made, we scored the ball. And I, and I do think us, the last couple games, we've, our pace has been so much better. And also we've made shots. So the adjustment of having the pace and then secondly, the, the, we're making shots. Um, <clears throat> and look, our four losses, three of those four teams are in the top 20 of Ken Palm. Stephen F. Austin's in the top 50. We haven't lost to slouches. I mean, those are good teams. And I'm not – listen, I, I wish we'd be 9-0 and right now. But I do think our early season tough schedule probably helped us win a game like this because we had to fight through some stuff and dig in and find ways defensively. And and where maybe we, we were – like, example, Stephen F. Austin, we didn't make the big shot or make the big play. We In this game, we made a big shot or a big play or um, uh, didn't let them run – because there were different runs, didn't let the run affect us as it did in the previous games. And I think that was, you know, that was a good sign for us, a good step moving forward. Teams really haven't had a reason not to, to zone you guys this year. I think you probably gave them one tonight. Do you, do you expect that maybe to change any moving forward, given the way you shot the ball from three? Well, I mean, they, well, you, you, you know, Upstate, they, USC Upstate, they're, they played, what, 12 games. Every one of their possessions for 12 games has been a zone. So... Um, that that wasn't much a strategy playing us in zone. Grant, that's more because that was their yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, for the most part, I mean, there's teams have have, have played some man, but but I, I do think it's going to be, you know, I think each team's going to be different because even like when we were, you know, up there, they still stayed in zone. They weren't even going to man at all. So I just think each team's going to be different how they play us. I just think we're just like we're going to be a game by game team. I think each team strategy wise is going to be going to be different unless they play like they did where their whole system is is zone oriented. Josh, it was about I don't know nine minutes left, maybe eight, when they pulled it within two, and you called the timeout and came out with that play. And I think it was a dunk. It might have been Hawkins. It might have been Burrell. I'm trying to remember, but. Can you talk about that moment? Because obviously they had stolen back all the momentum. Yeah, and they were, and they cut the lead too. And then we got a bucket and went up to four. And then we went to, went right there. And uh, and we just had some, you know, that was part of the scouting report about them hanging around Green, number five, you know, doing what he did. And we showed him the clips beforehand, before the game, about him coming underneath and getting steals and on the inbound hanging around. Um, but we, you know, we we made some horrendous errors in there, but then we were fortunate that we made some buckets and, you know, stretched the lead. Um, what's going on with Shaq right now offensively? I mean, the, you know, the turnovers have been something constant. Well, shots, is it shots? well, you know, I, 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 listen, he played well. Um, and uh, did he have, I think he had a double-double. Did he have a double-double last game? 
two games ago. Well, Bradley had a double double. Did he have a game? The double double over Central. Close. He was close. He was two rebounds away. He was two rebounds away. Yeah. So I don't know if it's the third game in six days. I, I'm not making an excuse. I just don't know. I don't know. But he's got to be better offensively. He's got to be more. And we do sureness drills every day. He has to be more sure, as in terms of tougher with the ball, and can't be, as I use the terminology, loosey goosey. Just can't. And and yeah. I. But he, he's. It, you know that's on Shaq. This, that's on Shaq, uh, and, and we need Shaq. Shaq's going to be a big, great player for us, and he's and he's done a lot of good things. But um, he was unsound with the ball. I, I did think he was good defensively in ball screens. He's he was he had no issues there. The issue was him offensively, um, and it was stuff like there was one of the out of bounds. Maybe you're talking where he just catches a high and the guy knocks it out. He had one where he just threw it and hit the net. Another one where he just kind of threw it to the other guys. So you know it wasn't his best game offensively whatsoever. I will say, though, he did a good job defensively on the way he guarded the ball screens. And then, and then what, DeMarnier Cunningham did something in the first half that you, you pulled him aside and told him he was going to give you a heart attack if he kept it. What, 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 do you remember that play? And what, yeah, because what he kept driving, dribbling up the sideline, and I, and I did not, I, we can't be up the side. We got to go, we got to, uh, he's got to, he's, with his size and speed, get to the seams. And um, I think that was it, is why I got him on at that time. And then, um, <clears throat> I think that was that was the big that was the big one. Yeah, it had nothing to do. Just it was just kind of the flow of it. And listen, you know, our rotation. I'm going to stick it to a shorter rotation, but the rotation of who's in it can change game by game, just because of who's flowing and who's not flowing, and that's what you're going to have to go with. A couple games in a row without Avery scoring in the time he comes out. He, he he saved us tonight in the first half, Grant. And but he was he was non-existent offensively for the last couple games. But I will say, he, even during that time, he still made winning plays as in terms of little things that maybe don't show up in the box score. And a guy who shoots like that, he shot you know high forty percent in junior college. I recruited him to be a great three-point shooter. So you know you're going to let him have to shoot shots. But the difference is tonight, his feet were set. He he took good shots. He really should have been five for five because that one should have gone in. He took good shots. I think when he takes bad shots or rush shots, he's not a good shooter. When he takes good shots and his feet are set, he's a, an elite shooter. Josh, fans are gonna, you know, they're gonna make comparisons to teams past or what they might have expected before the year. We'll do it. But for you, did you have to kind of get through that with this team once it started and? And kind of, you know, the, it's not last year's team, and you know, I've got to, I've got to look at them differently to, to give us our best chance. Yeah, there's no doubt. I, I think I had to uh, understand our team even better because, again, being so new, ten new guys, and you have two exhibition games basically, two two scrimmages, you know, and you just you don't have a lot of time, and you're trying to see guys play because practice. And playing in a game is totally it's just two different things. I mean, what how you practice how you're gonna play, but but it's the lights are on, it's it's a different little bit different deal. So you're just you're almost you know, having a feel for your team as the games are going on. I and I had said this to people, I said I would man, I, this if there was any year where you we could have I wish we had multiple they allowed, you know, multiple exhibition games. And someone could say, Well, you went to Canada. The difference we didn't have our team in Canada because Austin didn't play um, you know, we didn't have Trey. Sh we didn't have Trey Sean. Didn't have Calvin. Didn't have Kedron. You know, didn't have Demonye. So you still didn't have your full, you know, look of guys there. So that that affected a little bit as well too. Um, but we're just. That's why I'm saying we're still a work in progress. And and I've really felt that we. You know, we've got, we've played a very tough schedule, and I'm hoping, praying that it's going to pay off. You know, in the right way once we get to league play. Pookie mentioned that you know by you leaving him out there, he had the chance to bounce back. Is that part of this too? Kind of figuring out, all right, this guy can handle this level of adversity. This guy can handle that. Level. Yeah, and and also, there's no difference when I left Mike Dixon or Joe Jackson or those guys in the game because they could score the ball. And when you can score the ball, you know there's a big difference when we can score the ball. And and anyone that's known me, that's known our teams. Our number one identity of our teams has always been transition offense. Attack, I mean, we play as fast as anybody, and the number one thing teams have to guard against us is in their transition defense. We've always been good in that area in offense and glass, getting to the glass. This year, 
up until the last two games, we've been awful. The worst I've ever been around in all my time in transition offense. Last two games, and 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 that's and I take responsibility on that. That I fall that on me. So, um, but last two games we've been back to normal for our identity of our team is pushing the ball and 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 the way Pookie can score is is a good and and like I use that that game in Canada as an example. That second game, you know, where they were sort of this, it was similar like that. You know, the way you made some shots. Josh, you have Oral Roberts coming up. What can we expect from them? Oral Roberts, I just know that, that you know, Coach Scott Sutton, son of Hall of Famer Eddie Sutton, you know, obviously I haven't watched tape on them yet. I'll start on that tomorrow. Um, but I do know they're going to be well coached. They're going to be good. He always has good players. His teams always win a lot of games. They're always a good team. They always execute and run good stuff. Uh, they're always very good defensively, obviously, coming from you know his father, his bloodlines. His teams are always great defensively. So we know we're going to have to play our A game uh, on, on Saturday if we want to have a chance to win the game. When you do this like five games and, and ten day stretch would be key for you guys. Are you starting to build the momentum that you thought you might during the okay. Yeah, I mean, I think we're getting better. But each game is going to be its own entity, as I said before. It's going to be its own journey. And, um, we're, you know, uh, we're just got to keep – Climbing the ladder the right way, and I, and we've played a tough schedule, and we've played a tough schedule, and you know it's hope. Uh, the reason you play that schedule is so when you get to league play, you're hoping that it's it will pay off for you in those tough environments, and uh, um, and you know you you find out a lot about your team. So we I think we have a better understanding from everybody. Still got work to do, but I think we're moving in the right direction. I feel we're moving in the right direction, um, and I'm hoping the lows are done. But we we're still a game by game team. Okay, thanks guys.